G'day. Well, I know it's been a long time since I made a proper video, and that's simply because I need to upgrade my computer because the FPS is too chunky to bother making proper cinematic style videos, as you can probably see here. Uh, but for this one, I just want to do a little uh, explanation of how much work is involved in the nuclear project that we're undertaking. And also, I want to share the world save at this point in time. So at the end of the video, I'll um, drop a link and ex a little explanation on how to get the save file. And I'll also share my unmodded playthrough as well. So what are we doing here? We are doing all the uranium in the map to make 475, uh, 472, sorry, nuclear power plants. This factory you see here laid out is not going to be the actual nuclear power plant with the power plants in it, with the reactors. This is going to be just the nuclear fuel rod factory, which is why we've made it look like a nuclear fuel rod. What we've laid out so far is 156 manufacturers up the top here, and they're going to be the final stage of production for the nuclear fuel rods. The rest of this factory is going to be filled with everything else that needs to make those nuclear fuel rods. Some of the production we've done is in the main base over there, and I'll go through that now. Alright, so here we are in the main base, and I've just got the recipe screen up here to show what we need. So in order to make 94.5 of these nuclear fuel rods per minute, we're using the old recipe. Now we need 1,575 of these in case uranium cells per minute, and we haven't started the production on these yet. The beacons, we need 189 of those per minute, and we haven't started the production on that. However, the electromagnetic control rods and the crystal oscillators, we have finished the production on that. What I'll run through now is the machines and the production lines we used to get these two finished. Uh, the electromagnetic control rods, we needed 315 per minute, and the crystal oscillators, we need 94.5 per minute. So I'll just start at the end of the crystal oscillators and backtrack through the machines so you get an idea of how much is involved. Radio. so here we have 50 manufacturers making the crystal oscillators. These 50 manufacturers making the crystal oscillators on the ultimate recipe, they require quartz crystal, rubber and AI limiters. 937 per minute of this quartz crystal, 660 rubber, and 93.7 AI limiters per minute. So first of all, for the rubber, uh, we're actually tapping into our rubber supply, which we have a vast amount of, from our offshore oil rig down there. So the rubber's no problem, but there was a bit involved in that. The quartz crystal, we actually have a quartz crystal factory, which I'll probably go through in another video because it's a pretty cheeky little thing that we did down there. Uh, but there's a quartz crystal factory down there making um, just over a thousand quartz crystal per minute. And next we'll move on to the AI limiters. All right, here we are at the AI limiter production line. We need 94 per minute for the crystal oscillators. And this setup here is 30 assemblers, two sets of 15, and we're actually making 150 AI limiters. But we're using the excess for computers at the moment. This setup here uses 750 copper sheets per minute and 3000 quick wire per minute with 30 assemblers. So that's the AI limiters. Now, obviously, we need to manufacture the copper sheets, so I'll show you some of the copper sheet setup that we have. All right, 
Here we are at one of two copper sheet production lines. This production line has 52 refineries making copper sheets on the alternate recipe, which uses 1170 water. We're unpackaging the water here. And 1170 copper ingots. And it's making 1170 copper sheets per minute. We actually have two of these setups. All right, so here we are at the quick wire production line. Now we are using in this quick wire production line 780 caterium ingots, which is one belt and five belts of copper. So 3,900 copper in 104 assemblers to make 900, sorry, to make 9,360 quick wire per minute. We're using 3,000 of this for the AI limiters, and we're using a whole bunch more of it for computers and the high-speed connectors, which I'm gonna go through in a minute. And just a quick recap. We're using two pure nodes of Caterium in this factory down here, in 65 refineries to make the 780 Caterium ingots per minute. So this is all still involved in the production steps. All right, so here we are at the electromagnetic control rod production line, where we've finished the final stage to give us 315 electromagnetic control rods per minute. This production line has 32 assemblers it requires 320 stators per minute, which you can see here. And it also requires 160 high-speed connectors per minute. So we'll go through what the high-speed connectors required and then what the stators required. Again, this is all to give you an idea of how massive these production lines end up being when you backtrack. So to get the 160 high-speed connectors per minute. We have 54 refineries, sorry, 54 manufacturers here, as you can see laid out here. Those 54 manufacturers take 4,860 quickwire per minute, and you've already seen the quickwire setup, so that takes a vast chunk of that quickwire setup. It also takes 2,000 and 25 silica per minute and 162 circuit boards per minute. All right, so the silica setup is just here and we're not getting doing anything fancy with the silica setup. We're just doing constructors for this because we have plenty of quartz at the moment. That's 54 constructors making 2,025 silica per minute. Right, so we'll move on to the circuit boards. Here we are at the circuit board production line. Now, this production line produces 700 circuit boards per minute, and we are using only 162 of those circuit boards per minute for the high-speed connectors. So not everything in this production line is for the high-speed connectors, but you get an idea of how many we need. We've got 52 assemblers here and it uses 1,540 copper sheets and 1,540 silica to make the 700 circuit boards per minute. Right, so here we are at the stator production line and we're producing 320 stators per minute in 64 assemblers. As you can see going across here, uh, all the way across the top here and all the way down the bottom here. These 64 assemblers require 960 steel pipes per minute and they require 2,560 wire per minute. Over here we have just one of many different setups that are making pipes. This particular one is just supplying the pipes for the stators 
the 960 we need. This set of 52 constructors, it actually makes 1,040 pipes per minute. That's because it uses up two 780 lines of the uh, steel ingots perfectly and it's always good to have excess and we can use the overflow splitters to use the excess pipes that we don't need uh, which are going over there to the stator production line. Now as far as steel ingots go we have a steel factory in the grasslands but our bigger steel factory is down here and that's another factory that we've built that I uh, will cover in more detail in another video uh, but we're making a hell of a lot of steel down there and 660 plastic and the purpose of that factory was to use a few of the alternate recipes that aren't really used that often but that's where we're getting a lot of our steel ingots from all right so as far as our copper wire goes I've covered our copper wire and cable setup in another video but I'll just quickly show it here uh, we have five lines of the copper ingots going into that quick wire setup over here. And we have four lines of copper ingots, or four 780 lines, going into a whole bunch of constructors. And we end up making um, four 780 lines of wire and two 780 lines of cable. Uh, I'm not even going to count the machines here because I've forgotten how many it is. But basically we have a huge production line of wire and half of that production line of wire is used to make the cable. All right, and let's not forget that the copper ingots actually have to get made and where we're getting them from down there in the copper cathedral, the big church looking building down there. I covered that in detail in a previous video. That makes 12,000 copper ingots per minute and they come up into the base on the train. So that'll about do it for this video. Now, this nuclear project is far from complete and we have some really cool design plans for the 472 reactors and the waste storage facility. But for now, hopefully what I've shown will give you a good indication of just how much is involved if you do plan on using all of the uranium in the world to make as many nuclear power plants as possible. And finally, I know a lot of people have asked if we can share this save file and we have always planned on doing it. Originally, we were gonna wait until this world was complete, but we've decided that that would take far too long. So, here you go. In the details, you'll find links to download both this modded world and my original completely vanilla world, and a few instructions on how to overcome the in-game item limit. Also, a word of warning, Loading in this modded save will take a long time, about seven minutes. So give it time to fully load in. One last thing guys, I have been planning on buying a new beast of a PC in a hope to fix up some of the FPS loss so that I can start to make proper cinematic style videos again. This shouldn't be too far off. Until then, Catch you later.